Welcome back to Never Ending DIY, everyone. Today we're working on the 236B3 skid steer. We're performing a general service on the machine, but what spawned this is I started leaking hydraulic fluid pretty severely, and turns out one of the O-rings went bad, uh, which caused the leak, but I was going online trying to find a good video of uh, draining all the hydraulic fluid, and that video doesn't exist, so we're gonna make it here for you today. Before we get started, let's talk safety about something. Uh, I have my skid steer loaded uh, on two full length railroad ties. Uh, I didn't really wanna mess around with jack stands and things like that when working with this heavy equipment. So the two railroad ties get the machine up an extra nine inches, which has given me plenty of room for buckets and rolling around under there. And uh, I really like that approach for for safety's sake. So we're draining the oil, we're doing hydraulic fluid, we're gonna check coolant, we're gonna do everything today. Um, but I wanna to talk to you about this super expensive Cat Hydo Advanced 10 fluid. Uh, it's good for 2000 hours. My machine has 1600 hours on it, so this is a great time. Um, this is the little booger that went bad, but you know, it's, it's all worth it. So I've already got my cab up. Before I flipped it up, uh, I did turn the key, I, I didn't turn the machine on, I put it in the on position, put the, the lap bar down, turned the parking brake off, and then I manipulated my joystick in all directions. I manipulated the implement in all directions. I did the same thing for the wheels, and I did that to re relieve any hydraulic pressure on the system. Very important, so that way it doesn't blow up in your face. I had plenty of dirt and debris down in here, but I went, I went as far as to clean everything out. Uh, I spent about two hours just with a hose and um, a bar and just, just passing stuff through the belly pan. So this is what you see when you pull your cab up. That's done by removing two bolts, basically right where your knees are when you're sitting in the machine. Uh, there's a bolt underneath this side and one underneath the other side. And once that's out, the whole whole cab lifts up. But when I was in there, I found that cute little hose that looked like a breather tube. Uh, it, you know, it's got a bolt right in the top and then a receiving uh, cap on the end of the hydraulic line. And I thought it was a breather that was all stopped up. I'm like, oh man, you know, I cleaned it off. I threw it back in the machine. But when I was going through Cat's uh, procedure, they said, there's a drain line down just laying in here. And sure enough, that was my drain line. So let me uh, precariously reach down in here. <clears throat> so there you have it. It's just slowly draining the fluid. Now, get it back in the bucket. Right here is the bolt that sat in the very end of it. And I just back that out. I'll make sure that's nice and clean. Some Caterpillar machines, so when I went into the maintenance and operation manual of this machine, uh, the manual told me to follow the hose back um, and it connects back here in the lower left hand corner and there should be a lever to flip and allow the drain process to start. The 236B3 does not have a lever. That line is just constantly under hydraulic pressure. I've, I've scoured this entire machine. I even got out my little camera to, to poke around the corners and look around because surely Cat's literature wouldn't be wrong but it was, so mine was just as simple as removing the cap and letting it drain. This machine has 13 gallons worth of fluid in there, so hence the three buckets. And I'm just able to piddle around at the rest of the machine as we're going through. But that is how you drain the hydraulic fluid out of the skid steer. Raise up your cab, make sure you relieve all of your hydraulic pressure. I took the cap off of the reservoir to allow breather space and then just let her drain. And so now I'm gonna go take care of the hydraulic filter and work on the engine oil and check all the other grease points and things like that while we're in here doing that service. So hope that helps you guys. Good luck, please stay safe out there. Like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.